there have been several incidences of arson in different schools all over the country. Of course, this has caused quite a concern to very many parents in the country. And so 19 students from Kiambogo High School in Naivasha have been arrested alongside a man believed to have sold petrol to the boys to burn down their dormitory. The arrests come just as Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi appeared before the Senate Committee on Education to answer to the increasing cases of arson in schools. Timothy Otieno has details of this report. Kiambogo High School adds to an already long list of schools struggling to cope with the latest upsurge in cases of students burning down structures in their institutions. The rising arson cases in schools saw so Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi appear before the Senate Committee on Education Tuesday morning. A lot of people have been telling me, uh, why can't I set a task force to look into this? Mr. Chairman, Honorable Members, we've had two task forces that have given us reports. I have to be sincere with you and tell you we haven't implemented all the recommendations of those task forces. The cabinet secretary referring to reports of the Naomi Wangai and David Koech task forces instituted following a series of school unrests in the early 2000s. Both reports which recommend among other things the abolition of school rankings in national exams. But it appears those measures may have been inadequate in turning down the furnace even as three more dormitories were brought down on Sunday night in Embu, Transnzoia and Homa Bay counties. KTN News has established that over the last three months alone, nearly 60 schools have witnessed student unrest with 53 dormitories having been burnt down. Damage that is costing education stakeholders nearly 315 million shillings in expenses. Is it not possible also that a policy be put in place to ensure that all uh, secondary school and to start with boarding schools should have insurance policy so that in case of fire they can be compensated? The government will not put any money in repairing those schools. And I think no CDF money should be used because by parents getting involved in repairing those schools, they'll be forced to have a conversation with their children and support the teachers and all of us in disciplining their children as we go along. Why should we spend money repairing a school that children have conscientiously banned? School heads insist that Matiangi's tough rules on education dates and school schedules may be causing agitation among students. Matiangi says that couldn't be further from the truth. You have no power to unilaterally give the force of law to a decree. You need to subject it to the due process, i.e. let your people draft those regulations and rules, amend them, bring them before parliament and we'll work with you. The challenges we have are related to institutionalized impunity. People have lived this way and done things this way. And when we face this crisis, Mr. Chairman, we start blaming each other. You seem to appear like uh, you are carrying out the job of exploration, the job of monitoring, the job of promotion, the job of finding out who is doing what in schools. And you have time to be an inspector also. We have given the CSO mandate to run education docket. We cannot actually go around and also hold his hands in terms of how he should be running the school. Fourteen counties have been affected in the latest scourge that has seen nearly 30 students arraigned in court even as the government seeks to find a permanent solution to the menace and once and for all put out the fires causing heated debate among education stakeholders. Timothy Otieno. KTN News.